Hey YouTube, this is Blueberry7497 here, and I'm back with another tech video. In this video, uh, I will be uh, doing a quick review of CM10 Nightly One on the Nexus S uh, GSM variant, and um, I will be doing uh, an installation of CM10 Nightly Two and a quick uh, first look at CM10 Nightly Two. So we'll start with the uh, preview or the, the, the quick review of CM10 Nightly One. Um, after having used this for a few days, uh, I haven't had any uh, crashes um, other than one that I will show you. I haven't had any problems with network connectivity or calling. Um, everything in here seems to just be really stable and fluid. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at some of the features. You have launcher, uh, home screen, you can customize grid, grid sizes, uh, the amount of home screens you have, which one's the default, search bar, persistency. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> the drawer, um, and then just general things, uh, which only has uh, auto rotate. Um, lock screen, uh, quickly looking, you can customize the screen security that you can change the background of the lock screen to be different than the home screen. Um, the battery status, you can always show that, um, whereas on stock, you can only show it uh, when it's charging. Um, and then you can have weather enabled, which I will show you right here. I have my weather enabled, and it's refreshed to about an hour. Um, and then you can display ca calendar things too, uh, themes. I don't know if this is something that they just haven't implemented yet, but the only, right now there is only one theme. Uh, in the system, we have different settings for um, status bar, notification. If you go into notifications, you can have a uh, uh, you have whoops, you have a power widget up here to get different things. Um, I have Wi-Fi uh, lock and rotation and sound, you can customize that to have uh, media things, toggle 2G, 3G, uh, Bluetooth, brightness, you have brightness there, it appears right right away, there's no um, there's no like reboot necessary or anything like that. Um, and you just have a whole bunch of other options. Um, for, for trying to keep this video brief, I'm not going to go into too depth, but um, we'll start with some of the problems. Um, and the problems, the problems that I've encountered, uh, one is uh, trying to get this uh, idle stats to show up. Uh, every time I do that, it just has a crash right there. That's the only crash I've ever had. Um, um, another thing that's kind of annoying is that screen rotation does not work. I think it's the, the whole gyroscope because I was trying to play Temple Run earlier, and it wouldn't even um, uh, it wouldn't even monitor the movement of the device. So I have rotation lock on, and it doesn't work anywhere. It's system wide. It doesn't work. So that's a little bit of an annoyance and. Um, that's those are the only two things that I, I can really think of that are worth mentioning. Um, so yeah, overall it's just real stable. Um, we'll go ahead and get into the inst installation of CM10 Nightly 2, um, which I will have in the description. Um, uh, so you're going to open up ROM Manager or whatever ROM uh, recovery um, app or whatever you use. Go ahead and open that up and then uh, just get into recovery. So I'll reboot to recovery. And make sure you want to make sure that you have your your uh, current ROM backed up, whether it be just a stock ROM and you're just testing out CM10 Nightly 2 for the first time, or it be a, another custom ROM. You just always want to make sure you have it backed up in case something goes wrong. Um, so I don't believe we need to do a, a, a factory reset. So I'll go ahead and wipe the cache partition, um, and I will also have the Jelly Bean apps down. Um, in the description as well even though if you watch my previous video you'll know that um, it the apps are in that video uh, description so after you wipe the cache partition you're gonna go to advanced uh, and then you're gonna wipe the Delvet cache which um, yes wipe Delvet cache and it should say Delvet cache wiped um, now we're gonna go ahead and go back install zip from SD card uh, choose zip from SD card and I put mine in the root directory if you just download straight on your phone then it'll be in the download uh, up there somewhere but I have it down here so it should say CM10 2012 08 19 um, which is the date and then nightly crespo dot zip so we'll go ahead and hit search for yes and search again and it'll go ahead and install the package now keep in mind this is only for the Nexus S GSM variant and um, uh, this won't work with any other device. They do have other devices supported, so don't uh, worry um, that this is only Nexus S GSM. Uh, they do have other devices, so um, if this takes long, I will go ahead and fast forward it. 
Okay, so install from SD card complete. And now we will go back and reboot system now. And um, despite the not wiping uh, um, of the factory um, or the factory reset, it should still be fine. I looked up on some forums, and there's a there's a name for when you don't wipe the when you don't do a factory reset. I just can't think of it. If you know it, leave a comment down below. Um, but yeah, usually with um, usually with just uh, minor incremental updates with ROMs, you usually don't need to. Now, if you're flashing a whole entire other ROM you would want to do a factory reset but because most of everything is, is the same in, in nightly one to nightly two you can just go ahead and do that now in the RC versions um, for if you want to go from nightly let's say they got six nightlies and then they released an RC version you would probably want to do a factory reset um, so right now it says Android is upgrading um, and I will go ahead and fast forward this if it does take too long Okay, so it's just about done. We have 97 of 98. Um, I know that's kind of hard to see. Don't have the best camera. Um, all right, and so it's starting apps. And uh, since I didn't do a factory reset, um, this is probably why it didn't bring me to the startup screen of uh, Jelly Bean. It just uh, did a Android is upgrading the apps. Um, okay, so here we go. I have everything still here. Um, this is all my settings, they're still configured. Okay, so factory reset is not necessary. Um, if you'd like to do one just to be safe or it makes you feel better, um, go ahead and do a factory reset, but just keep in mind you'll have to uh, reinstall the G apps, I believe you'll have to reinstall the G apps, and um, you have to reconfigure all your settings if you are on CM10 Nightly 1. Um, so let's go ahead and unlock it. and. Um, We'll go ahead and take a look if any of those problems I mentioned in the uh, uh, earlier in the video are corrected um, with Nightly 2. So, uh, what I first, what I did notice though, with immediately with the boot up screen, is um, it's a little bit faster. It's not as uh, jittery or maybe laggy at sometimes as CM10 Nightly 1, and um, uh, their 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 little mascot guy uh, Sid, his chest. I know it's kind of hard to see, but down here he's got a little, um, he has like a little circle thing, almost like an Iron Man thing going on. Um, uh, that kind of uh, brightens during the during the uh, boot screen. Um, so that's something I noticed. Um, so everything still seems to be running uh, pretty fast. Um, I don't have it overclocked. It's just it's between the 200 megahertz and 1 gigahertz. I don't really need overclocking. Um, but uh, it, it does allow you to overclock to 1400 um, or 1 1.4 gigahertz. Um, I, I've tested it, uh, I think, on just 1.2 gigahertz, and it runs it runs stable. It's there's no like force closes or anything. Um, it doesn't reboot, at least with um, at least on this version. So we'll go to settings, and we'll see if rotation lock is on, and it is. And there's still no rotation lock. So there's no rotation lock. Uh, I mean, there's no rotation. Uh, rotation lock is when it won't rotate. Um, we'll try, uh, not system, uh, themes. Before there was only one theme, there still is only one thing. Uh, now, this may be an error on my part. Maybe you have to install more themes. But either way, there aren't, um, there aren't more themes. Um, we'll take a look at the idle stats, which force closed before. And it still force closes. Um, so everything is running pretty smooth still though, and I uh, haven't had any problems with connectivity or voice calls or, uh, you know, just scrolling, viewing web web pages, everything's still fine. And, um, let's see, it, it does show the kernel version, which shows Sunday, August 19th, which is their uh, latest, whoops, <laughs> which is their latest version. So this is a, and it shows Sinajamon version, which is CM10. 819 right there uh, 2012 819 which is their nightly 2 um, so everything is running fine and uh, except for the rotation lock there's not much there's not much bad in this ROM um, so there's a quick look uh, at CM10 uh, nightly 2 as well as a 
a quick review of CM10 Nightly One. If you like this video, don't forget to give a like, uh, subscribe if you want to keep up to date with more CM10 Nightlies as well as the RCs when they're released and the uh, stable, um, uh, the stable ROM. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.